Do you know, sometimes you just want to go out and take some photos, but there may be something stopping you. You might have been a naughty boy and your mum won't let you out with the camera and let you go and enjoy yourself. Or you've been really, really naughty and your wife won't let you go out because she's got this job for you or that job for you. And you can't go out and take some photos. But I don't have that problem because <laughs> I live on my own, so I'm fine. Uh, so why am I sat on the doorstep, you ask? Well, I'm waiting for a delivery that I don't want to miss and hopefully it's going to be here soon. But in the meantime, I still want to take some photos. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go out with this and I'm going to walk around the house and I'm going to take some macro shots. I've got my little light on the front, I showed you on the last video. Uh, and I'm going to have a walk around the house and see what macro shots I can get around the house while I'm waiting for an Amazon delivery. So, <laughs> let's get in there and let's see what we can do, shall we? The first photo I've decided to take is of some uh, Himalayan rock salt. I know it looks a bit weird, it's in Polish, uh, but it is Himalayan uh, rock salt. So I've put it on the top of a cup and I've zoomed right in and these are the photos I've got. And it's surprising how close you can get with this little camera. But uh, this is a close-up of the rock salt. I'm now filling the, uh, the bowl with water and I've put some washing up liquid in. And, uh, Fluff it up a little bit, make some bubbles, and uh, get a close-up of the, the bubbles. Now, obviously, this camera's waterproof, so uh, a few bubbles won't make any difference to it at all. So, uh, I'm keen to see what these are going to turn out like. And we just get the camera and we'll see. And now I'm going to take a couple of photos of a uh, cheese grater. <laughs> you won't believe it, would you? Uh, but just simple things and things that have got a regular pattern can make interesting photos. So I'll take one this way and I'll take that one, take one that way as well. And as you can see, they're slightly, they're slightly different. Um, but we'll see how they come out. So now what I've decided to photograph is a watermelon and all the seeds on the inside of the watermelon. Looks really weird, doesn't it? You wouldn't believe there's that many seeds and how slimy it looks as well. Looks horrible. But that's a, sorry, it's not a watermelon, it's a honeydew melon. Now this is donkey wipes. I call them donkey wipes because people use them to wipe their ass. And here we have the staple food of the uh, Roman Empire. It's called bread. And a banana. Uh, so this is the banana peel and this is the banana itself. And, um, and there's the whole thing. Like I say, you can get some really good close-ups. Now this one, this is my bath towel. Uh, as you'll see in a second, there you go, it's hanging up in the bathroom. Um, it looks really vivid red. And there's the logo off my denim jacket. And no, I'm not sponsored by Levi's. They couldn't afford me, I don't think. Um, but it shows you how you can see all the patterning. Now this one is a very strange one. This one takes a bit of figuring out. It's actually a close-up of a mushroom. Um, and this is Nescafe Coffee. Um, just been sprinkled on a on the upside of a, a, a mug and uh, that's Nescafe and water dripping from a tap or a faucet as it's called in America and there it is look now I've got some frozen raspberries and no I'm not sponsored by Sainsbury's either they couldn't afford me 
But look at the ice crystals on the frozen raspberries. It's amazing how uh, how close you can get with this little this little camera. And I also did some blueberries once again, not sponsored by Sainsbury's. And as you can see on the blueberries, we got really, really close and got some decent photos of the ice crystals on there. That's not a bad one. Loads of ice crystals on that one. And then we tried uh, broccoli and cauliflower. Not olive flower, cauliflower. And that's cauliflower with an ice crystal on. Not so many ice crystals on this. And this is a close-up of the broccoli. The broccoli florets and the cauliflower florets. So as you can see, no matter how naughty you've been, you can still go out and take some photos. I've not been in the garden at all. Uh, and I imagine that if I went out in the garden, I could get loads and loads more photos. I'm just sticking to the house at the moment because I don't want to miss this delivery. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.